Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. Listen, guys, I've had this story for a few days, but uh, because of some events, I just didn't feel like um, going over this story today because it's one of those kind of stories that makes you just shake your head and uh, you want to share a tear for Oh, well, more than a tear for this young man, but you just don't, you just can't make sense of what happens. So I just wasn't in the headspace and the mind frame to even bring this story until today. Um, you see the heading about the teen that got killed for a $2 beer. Okay, let me just go over the article with you. Um, it's not a whole lot. It's, this is not going to be a long podcast, but I just wanted to enlighten you guys of some things if you had not heard. And you know I'm going to give my nickels worth. Okay, so here goes. Um, a jury found a, a grocery clerk guilty of killing a 17-year-old boy who ran out of a store with a beer he didn't pay for in Memphis, Tennessee, in case that had sparked protests. In that case, it sparked protests. Um, Adwar, let me pronounce his name wrong, Guazali was convicted of second-degree murder and a four, in a four-day trial in Shelby County District Attorney General Amy why Rick said Friday, this defendant took it upon himself to be the judge and the jury and the executioner over a $2 bill, uh, the prosecutor says, Laura Frowley. The shooting happened in March 2018 after Dorian Harris walked out of the top shop with a beer without pain. The store owner saying this. Security videos of the incident played in court shows that Gonzali, while behind the counter dealing with another customer, pulled out a handgun and pointed it at Harris. He then ran outside to follow the teen and fired several times. Anwar was convicted of second degree murder for killing the killing of Dorian Harris. Afterwards, he returned to the store and told a witness, I think I shot him. He did not call the police and neither did any of the other customers inside the store, WMC reported. Harris was shot at at least three times and was left to bleed out. Frowler said, his body was found two days later in a yard near the store with gunshots in the back of his thighs, Warwick said. The defense attorney, uh, Blake Bollins, told CNN in an email that Gonzali maintained he acted recklessly that night, but his intentions was never to harm Harris. It was not your intentions to harm him when you shot at him. What did you think? And even if you shot in the air, bullets don't know anything about the law of gravity uh, or the lack of. Well, they don't. They are not immune to the lack of gravity. That's what I'm. I'm trying to say. What goes up must come down. He could have hit some innocent toddler. For all he, you know, for all the, the reasoning he's trying to give that he did not. Let me, let me go on, you guys. See, this is why I did not want to bring this to you a few days ago. He said they were pleased that the jury rejected the prosecution's argument that this was a calculated and premeditated murder motivated by the theft of a beer. That would have come with a potential life sentence. It was premeditated. And you ran after him. You pulled a gun first. 
in the store. And then you, when he ran, you ran after him. You had time to think to yourself, oh, I got camera. I got him on camera. I'm going to put a little poster of his picture on the cash register. He not coming up in this store. When he do, I'm going to call the police. You had time to think about that. Now, Ghazali is expected to be sentenced on September 23rd. At his sentencing hearing, I expect him to express his heartfelt remorse and his hope that Mr. Harris' family can forgive him and continue healing. Mm. Okay. The family is saying, why did this happen to my son? Okay, you guys. With all this being said, Run, you know, takes a beer. You know, that was wrong. Takes a beer. Didn't pay for it. Run out the store. Run out the store because a gun's pointing at you, but ran out of store. God. Let me just read the article. Okay. The shooting which sparked protests outside the store has similarities to other instances of black men shot and killed over otherwise minor incidents. Bernice King, daughter of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., linked his death to the broader issue of the value of African-American lives known as the Black Lives Matter movement. Dear Memphis, I'm here in your city. Dorian Harris should be here too, she said on Twitter. If you don't value black lives, and this is... um, uh, Bernice King talking, Martin Luther King's uh, daughter talking. If we don't value black lives and believe that Dorian's life is worth far more than an alleged stolen beard, because mind you guys, he was not convicted of that. He was not charged with that. Because the store owner, the cashier, whoever he is, made sure of that. Okay. Um, where did I, where did I leave off? If we don't value black lives and believe that Do- Dorian's life is worth far more than a alleged stolen beer, then we're not authentically honoring my father. The defense attorney wants his defense team to focus on the facts and not the emotion of the case. Oh, it's not going to be emotion. Oh, I know we have to look at the facts. We do. We have to look and we have to go by the law. But whatever the case is, it's still going to be emotion in this case. I know that prosecutor is probably, you know, had emotions, you know, and trying to seek the, the, the fullest punishment of the law regarding this Everybody probably in that courtroom had emotion, some kind of emotion. Now, the defense uh, attorney is saying, I understand why this case has called public frustration because another African-American kid has been needlessly killed. But decisions of guilt and innocent. No, this is uh, who is saying this. Yeah, yeah. The defense, but decisions of guilt and innocence and questions of intent should not be based on emotion, he said. And also decisions should not be made to kill somebody, especially for a two dollar beer. The defense team did our best to make sure that the jury rendered a verdict based on the facts of the case and not on the color of someone's skin. That would just be another injustice. Harris, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to skip by that one, guys. I'm I'm, going to continue on. Harris family members mourned the young man after the killing and ahead of the trial. It shouldn't have happened like this, his grandmother, Effie Finch, told WMC in April 2018. He was a child, and that was an adult. He ought to have more responsibility than that, and he's running a business. The father says, why did this happen to my son? The father is, uh, Harris's father is Pete Hansen. 
Why was it that he was left there like that? Like he was nothing, like he was nobody. Yes, he bled out. Probably, you know, nobody called the police. The police could have got there or the ambulance could have got there. Even, I mean, oh, I, I shot somebody. I didn't mean to. Let me, let me. Let me let me call the police. Let me call the ambulance because although I don't want anybody coming in my stores taking anything, you know, I'm just going to I'm just not going to let this young man just die out in the street like a dog. I'm not going to do that. So, um, you know, but he didn't call the police and nobody else in the store called the police. And you acknowledge the fact when you came back in the store. I think I, I think I got him. I think I got him. But even if you didn't know whether that bullet connected to him or not, you still should have called the police and said, you know what? This is the direction I was going in. You know, he could, I don't know. He said, and they would have searched and probably found him after two days. He bled out guys. Okay. Okay. I'm going to end this right now. I don't want my blood pressure going out. Yes, this happened in 2018. Uh, and uh, But it does not negate the fact that this has come to the forefront recently. So, I had not heard of this before then. I had not heard of it. I, if I had, I would have just come on with an update you know, and I know there's a lot of things missing out of this story because basically this is an update because I know that it's probably more to this story. Um, like I said, the young man did this. That was wrong to go in that store and take that beer. Mothers and fathers, I don't care what color you are. Tell your kids, and I know a lot of you having kids just do things and have a mind of their own, and they all, I won't get caught, you know, whatever. It might be a good idea to, you know, to tell them this story, what happened, and let them know. Some people don't care. You can, you can get a, you can go in there and, 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 and eat a popsicle and they don't know whether you're going to pay for it and take the gun out and shoot you for eating a popsicle, you know, to school your kids because mothers, dads, you don't want this to happen to your son, to your daughter, that someone does not value your children no more than $2. And he probably... You know, being being a teen, of course he was it's not legal to, to drink, so you know, like I said, I'm not making excuses that that was a senseless act of him going into the store and and taking that beer and, and I'm I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt that they have footage. They said the footage was shown in court, so okay. Because before I had read over the article thoroughly again and saw that, I'm going to say, oh, mm, that sounds like Trayvon Martin all over again to me. And it made me furious. And I had to stop and woosah. So let me, let me, let me, let me calm down and let me read this again. You know, because sometimes you miss things in, in, in the heat of, of reading about a, a senseless tragedy. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to end this now for real, for real. Um, uh, I will leave, you know, the link is not that much different than what I've said, uh, you know, without my nickels worth. Uh, But I'll leave it in the description area. And uh, I had a choice to put um, the teen's picture up. Or a choice to put the person who killed him. I chose to put the teen picture up. Because frankly, a lot of times the victims get lost in us concentrating too much 
on the perpetrator. And uh, I just want everyone to see this young man's face. Uh, many of you have children and, uh, you know, just kind of go over, you know, as a, as a, as a lesson, guys, you know, don't do this because people, a lot of people don't value your life. They'll kill you for a, 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 a tootsie roll, you know? They'll, they'll kill you for, for uh, some bubblicious gum. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to re- reach $2. But for $2, guys, oh, it could have been handled so different. It could have. The, the young man, the little teenager, first of all, I wish he hadn't have done that. If that's what's re- what really happened. I didn't see the video, so I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm okay, guys. I said I was going to, to end it now. Thank you for joining me. Uh, those of you who have not subscribed, please do so now. Click that notification bell, and I'll be back. Hopefully, not with a story like this. Hopefully, something silly, something fun. But I just had to bring this to you guys um, today. So have a good evening, everyone. Good night.